I never saw his face. I'm grateful for that, I think. The strange blessing of it, in a way. He was young. Could have been a college student, like those I'd just been teaching. Long, curly, dull blonde hair. It blocked his face so much that I thought he was a girl, but when people started talking to the police, I realized that it was a boy who had jumped down and stood up in the middle of the tracks, in the middle of a perfect afternoon, a second before the train hit. I'd been down at the end of the platform, leaning against the railing. And he must have been standing right next to me. We were all watching the big yellow work train with the very tall engine that was about to roll past. Unscheduled, unwanted, a moving disappointment. And necessary, of course, but not the right train, not the one that would take us home. Which, of course, depends on where you're going. He jumped down on the tracks before we knew it. He stood up, uncertain. He never looked up. Instead, he looked at the concrete platform beneath our feet. And that's the last thing he ever saw. The bell on the engine drowned out all other sound. From my angle, I never saw the train actually hit him. He simply disappeared in front of it like a magic trick. The train never stopped. The cab was so high, the driver could not have seen the boy make his last second jump. He was across the river before they could call and tell him. The police got the same account from four different people. They said they had enough and that we could go. I was next in line, nobody took my statement. And then a crew started collecting the body parts. I wouldn't watch. I wanted it to remain magic, which is to say, real but impossible. Shocking. Blinding, even, in a way, like a miracle. So this is my statement. He stood right next to me. I never knew him. We never shared so much as a word or a look but he taught me more than I had taught my students. The lesson of a dark fate and the whispered warning of what it can mean to be young on a perfect day in a free country. Who are you, America? That's the question Center Stage asked when we commissioned these 50 monologues. Want to learn more? Keep watching.